In this videotape, you will be shown the role that knowledge of measurement plays in machine technology. Measurement can be described by many different names, such as diameter, width, or depth. And these can be taken on the inside or the outside of an object. After viewing this videotape, you will be able to write down the safety precautions you should take while working in the machine shop, write down the names and uses of measuring tools used in the machine shop, and demonstrate how to read these tools accurately. In every machine shop, safety is always your first consideration. You must always wear your safety glasses. Remove jewelry such as rings and watches. Keep your sleeves rolled up above the elbows. And keep your work area clean. Linear measurement, which is the distance between two points, can be made in basic units, such as inches or millimeters. Inches can be subdivided into fractions, or what is referred to in the shop as scale dimensions. When you convert fractions to decimals, you are able to make finer discriminations, which allows for more accurate measurements. The simple graduated measuring instruments you will find in the machine shop are measuring tapes and rules. Measuring tapes also referred to as flexible tapes, are manufactured in a variety of lengths. However, the lengths most generally used in the shop are the 6 foot, 10 foot, and 12 foot. A measuring device is as accurate as its smallest graduation. The regular shop tapes are generally graduated to a sixteenth of an inch. You would use the flexible tape around the cutoff saw, or in those areas, where precise measurements are not a major concern. Steel rules found in the machine shop are generally 3 inch, 6 inch, or 12 inch, although they are made in many other lengths and varying widths. Most steel rules are graduated to a 64th of an inch and are therefore capable of making more accurate measurements than the flexible tapes. Another measuring tool which incorporates the steel rule in its use is the combination set. This tool combines the steel rule with a square head, a protractor, and a center head. The square head and steel rule are used for laying out or making measurements on flat work. You would use the protractor head when laying out angles, while the center head is most useful while laying out the center points of cylindrical pieces. The protractor head is usually graduated in degrees. But if you require a more precise angular measurement, a protractor with a vernier scale can give readings as accurate as five minutes of a degree. The inside and outside calipers are measuring tools which can be used with the steel rule. The accuracy of measurements made using these tools depends not only upon the size of the smallest graduations on the scale, but also upon the machinist's ability to accurately use these tools. Here is an example of using a caliper and a scale to measure the diameter of a hole in a workpiece. Accuracy is limited to the skill in measuring and the graduations on the scale. The calipers, which would give the most accurate measurements, are the vernier calipers. They come in many styles and can usually measure both internal and external dimensions with the same instrument. With vernier calipers, you can measure to an accuracy of one thousandth of an inch. The vernier caliper can be used to measure the outside length and width of a machined part. It can also be used to measure the inside diameter of a bored hole. These measurements are to a much closer tolerance than possible with a scale. Measurements are made with a vernier caliper by setting the jaws of the instrument on the part then reading the vernier scale as it lines up with the main scale. As you can see, the beam of the vernier caliper has major graduations marked in inches and minor graduations marked at hundred thousandth of an inch. The vernier scale is used to measure to a thousandth of an inch. 
Another variation of the vernier caliper is the dial caliper. This instrument can measure internal, external, and depth dimensions. The dial caliper has inches and hundred thousandth graduations on the beam. The thousandth readings are taken from the dial. Before making any readings with a dial caliper, you must set the dial to zero, lock it, and then make your measurement over the part. The universal vernier caliper is another variation of the caliper, and you can use it for making internal, external, and depth measurements. The vernier height gauge is used in layout work and to make outside measurements when placed on a surface plate. This tool achieves an accuracy of one thousandth of an inch by incorporating the vernier scale. The most common precision measuring tools you will find in the machine shop are the micrometer calipers. These instruments are made in a wide variety of types and forms for inside, outside, and depth measurements. Micrometer calipers are designed to measure to the nearest one thousandth of an inch. However, when equipped with a vernier scale, they can measure to the ten thousandth of an inch. Micrometers can only measure over a distance of one inch. This is why the frames have to be designed to accommodate a wide array of sizes. For example, to measure a part between four and five inches, you would choose a four to five inch micrometer. Similarly, for a part of less than one inch, you would choose a zero to one inch micrometer. You will see the size range of each micrometer stamped on the frame. Micrometer instruments are used on all types of measuring tools and in the inspection of parts. Here an outside micrometer is used to check the diameter of a workpiece being turned on a lathe. Another application of the micrometer is to check the length of a piece that has just been machined on a milling machine. To get an accurate measurement of the diameter of a hole, you can use the micrometer caliper to measure across the tips of a spring joint inside caliper. By using a depth micrometer, you can get an accurate measurement of the depth of this groove that has been machined on a vertical milling machine. The telescoping gauge when used with an outside micrometer, allows you to get an accurate measure of an inside dimension. Telescoping gauges are not generally used for holes of one half inch diameter or less. For such small readings, you would use a hole gauge. Here a hole gauge is used to measure the diameter of a hole of less than one half inch in diameter. Dial indicators have a wide variety of uses in the shop. They can be used for checking machine setups, checking alignments, and checking the size of parts. Dial indicators are manufactured with dials graduated to many different degrees of accuracy. However, most of them will measure to thousandths of an inch or ten thousandths of an inch. Here are some situations in which you could use a dial indicator for accuracy and precision. To line up work in a four-jaw chuck. To check the vice jaws when lining up the vice on a vertical milling machine. To check the size of parts on a surface plate. And to measure the distance of table travel on this machine. Another form of measurement which you may see in the machine shop is the digital readout. These are attachments for machines, such as you see here. This form of measurement is very accurate and allows you to make duplicate parts on the machine with very little error. Let's review what you have seen on this videotape. You have seen the safety precautions you should always take when working in a machine shop. Linear measurement refers to a distance between two points. This distance is generally shown in inches and fractions of an inch for scale dimensions. When more accurate measurements are required, decimals are used. When the work requires less precise measurement, 
steel rules or instruments graduated as steel rules can be used. When you need accuracy to within a thousandth of an inch, vernier calipers, micrometers, or other precision instruments are used. Measurement is an essential part of machine technology, and the knowledge and ability to use measuring tools will make you a better and more productive machinist.